Hi guys, today I want to analyze what's the difference between a good Gran Turismo player and a world champion. Therefore I compared two laps at the first time trial event on the Nordschleife using the Porsche 911. One lap is mine and one lap is the lap of Igor Fraga, the Gran Turismo world champion. My lap was a 87.9 and it was placed 53 on the world rankings. But this was still 8 seconds slower than the lap time of Igor Fraga. And now we want to find out why he was so much faster and if there are some kind of techniques we can use to get faster on future time trails. We quickly jump to the beginning of both laps and the first corner. Okay, here you see we both have pretty much the same line through this corner. But what you see, Fraga is like half a second earlier on full throttle again, which gave him a little extra speed into the first straight. He carries this little extra speed into the next corner and got about 4 kilometers faster speed at the apex. This is something you will see over the whole lap. His entries into the corners are just so good that he always got a little higher apex speed than what I have. first split time I'm already 7 tenths behind him and to keep the lap synced I have to stop his one while mine is still running. Here at Flugplatz you see another point why he is so fast. He's really using every inch of the track. And again he's a few kilometers faster gaining time over the whole straight now. In the next corner there are two things to watch. First one is braking. He's just braking so smooth and releasing the brake extremely smooth. It's just one movement. And the other thing is throttle. Look how fast he is on the throttle again. I'm still half throttle while he's already doing full throttle for like more than one second. see him cutting the curb on the left side extremely good and that's why he has a better angle into the next corner you see I'm far too wide on the right side his corner speed was slower at the entry of the corner but now at the exit he has much better exit speed than I have I think this corner alone was worth like half a second for him Timing for corners is so good. The enders then can carry much more speed through the corner and the exit of the corner. Here 
here's another good example of this. Just watch the apex speed difference. 102 kilometers on my side compared to 107 on his. Next corner at Bergwerk is one where I often have problems. You see I'm far too wide on the left side, missing the apex by about one meter and already losing time when I enter the next grade. Once more I was about 3 kilometers too slow at the apex of the corner. At Carousel I will stop at point where Fraga is in full throttle again. And now watch how much longer this takes for me. The sector went really good for me, as there are many corners and I managed to lose almost no time. And again you see a huge difference in corner speed, 129 km versus 137. For the garden cops corner you need to be brave and I wasn't brave in this moment so I lost another half, half of a second. Now it comes to one of the trickiest part of the notch life, breaking at the end of the dirty away. And I think I did a really good job. 
I had a good and fast line, especially through the right, right hander. Maybe a bit too fast and that's why I missed the entry uh, for the next corner, the left one. Fraga got a much better position for this one. And this is also the reason why I completely failed the last corner and came too far to the left. Losing a lot of time there. I think I was almost on the same level as Fraga until this last corner. Okay, we are through with this lap. And the question is now, what did we learn from this? I think the main difference between a good player and a world-class player is precision. You saw Fraga is so precise on his entries of the corners. He's doing this just perfect on every corner. There was like no corner where I was faster than him on the whole lap. So even if I would know how to take a special corner and if I have a luck shot and I get this really perfect, this would only be one corner. But drivers like him, they make this every corner on the whole lap. I said several times that he had a higher apex speed through the corners, but a high apex speed it's not only just getting as fast into a corner as possible, it's about having the perfect turn in point and the perfect line to even survive the corner at this speed. If I had the same speed as him through several corners, but with my line, I would have crashed immediately. Another point is car control, especially with the Sport 911. You saw how early he was on full throttle again in many corners. If I do this, the chance is high that I lose control and I spin. So that's it for today. I hope you like this kind of video. Uh, write a comment if you want to see more of this or if you prefer other videos like my racing videos or time trails. Thank you for watching and if you like this give it a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. See you, bye bye.